What's up guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to getting audio to work inside of Resolve for editing purposes, of course, and this is of the, the studio version, but I can also show you settings to get um, the normal version to render out video too, but I do recommend getting the studio version. Honestly, don't care where you get it from. Um, so let's begin. We're gonna go into settings, output, recording. You're gonna set the type to custom output. Now, if you don't know, you won't have this tab originally, so set the output mode to advanced first, and then the type to custom output FFmpeg. Now, mine is set to HEVC underscore NVENC, and that's for a reason. I use my GPU for recording. And down here, you're going to see audio encoder, all right? Mine is set to PCM underscore S24LE. This is one that's been inside of Resolve and most other video editors for a very, very long time. So this is the one that I'm using. I do not suggest using anything else, really. You can use 16 LE, uh, right? You can use 32-bit LE. It's really up to you. But this is the one that I found to be the most useful. Now, I'm going to stop this clip. We're going to drag this clip into Resolve, and then we're going to check it out. All right, so let's drag that clip that we just recorded, which is this one, 53 megabytes. Now, you can see why I use it, right? It's got low file size, but the quality is actually fantastic. And if we zoom in, you can see how freaking fantastic it really is. All right, and let's all just take a listen. What's up, guys? Welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to show you how audio works. You can see that the audio is popping up as well down here. So that's great. We can actually go and zoom in. And that will allow you to edit your audio. That will allow you to edit your video uh, because the studio version supports NVENC or H.265 NVENC, and it's absolutely amazing. And it renders out really, really quickly on Linux as well. And it's not like, it's not a bad video image like when recorded, when rendering out with GPU, like on Caden Live or any other program. The big difference with this one is it uses both CPU and GPU. So you have the look of CPU and you have the speed of GPU without the fallbacks of GPU. And I found this out recently and this is, Resolve is absolutely incredible, the fact that it does that. So for those people who bitch about GPU looking worse than CPU, that's not the case when rendering out with Resolve and that's, that's absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm gonna go and edit this thing up. As you can see, now I actually can. And I'd like to thank everybody who watched this. I hope this helps for those out there that are using Studio version of Resolve and still don't have audio working. Don't worry, it's not you, okay? It's just OBS. And now that you know how to fix it, you should be in good hands. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video and hit the bell to be notified of future content like this.